Hey, Ocean Runner here. I was running on Hampton Beach this morning and um, I noticed Marilyn here was collecting all kinds of cool stuff. I was very curious about what she was doing, so I popped down here to see if I could learn more. So okay. Marilyn, tell me about what you're doing here on the beach every morning. Well, lots of stuff gets left over at the beach. Um, the waves bring it up, people leave it behind. The beach rake leaves it behind because it's buried in sand. Sure. So instead of putting it back into the trash stream, which is ridiculous, I clean it up and I offer it to different organizations. Uh, I'll call around, I'll put it on my Facebook page and say, I have like, I mean, how many of these can you possibly have? Sure, <laughs> sure, but, there, but there's kids that maybe don't have one that Ex could use one. Exactly. So this is a great repurposing opportunity. And what do you have over here? I mean, it looks like some of them is really nicely packaged and well, uh, the Hampton Recreation Department, so I was looking for a little tidbit, tidbits to give to their kids for some sort of prize. Wow. Also, you know the Easter eggs in the um, early February time frame? Sure. They get buried in the beach. They put little, it's 2,000 eggs. They put little prizes in. Yes, yes, yes. So if I find one that will fit into the prize in some good shape, I donate it to Renee at the Hampton Recreation, and um, I beg them up to make sure they're sanitized. So, but, and then of course, Many of my friends who have dogs love me. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. And those get lost all the time. Yes. And some of these are like new. Oh, absolutely. Now, the ones that smell like seaweed have to go recycled. Sure. Absolutely. But the ones that are not broken or whatever. So what inspired you to start doing this? Well, I retired. And I was told I had to walk the beach by my dog. Uh, and get some more exercise. I sat for 25 years in marketing, so uh, I started walking in a new care, and it was sad to see all the trash that was washing in and washing back out, the same stuff. Yep. So I started picking it up, and then I started talking to people who were on the beach, and uh, they said, well, they don't do anything. And that's why I learned about the beach rake, and I said, well, I'll drag it up and, you know, recycle it or repurpose it and then it was brand new stuff you know balls and frisbees that kids could use sure. so I went to Goodwill and they opened and I said do you take this stuff and use it and they said oh sure bring it on so so I go over there and they can look through it and make sure it's up to their standards or whatever but most of the shovels oh wow <laughs> Yeah, they're brand new. Yeah, oh absolutely. They probably bought them at the store here for the day at the beach. Yep. And uh, this is wonderful. Yeah. Well, and think about all this stuff that could end up in the belly of a fish, a whale, yes. uh, a seal, or around their necks. I mean, those elastic things definitely uh, scream out harm for, for yes. a sea life. So this is all really great ways to um, help save the ocean, save the creatures in it, but also uh, give back to the community. This is a wonderful way to get started. So and you're also educating yourself yes. by um, going through the Marine Docent Program. Yes, UNH Marine Docent Program. I started last week. Um, I got drafted. <laughs> uh, someone told someone about me, but um, I'm very excited. Uh, I mean, I'm 65 and going back to school, so it's, I know. But uh, it'll give me an opportunity in the spring once I graduate and swim up to educate kids about, you know, why you can't do, you know, this to a beach. You know, the cans, the bottles, the, uh, the trash. Absolutely. And in the meantime, you are doing a great service uh, for the community and, uh, and educating people, I'm sure, along the way. We learned about you, actually, from um, one of the gentlemen at the state. He said, you know what, if you want to talk <laughs> about taking action and making an impact, talk to Mary. So here we are. I know. Uh, so thank you so much, and thanks for, for all you do. Um, and hopefully we can get a few more people to start doing these types of things as well. Um, she's got some great ideas in terms of um, collecting balls and giving them to dogs, collecting toys. So there's lots of really great things that you can do with the uh, treasures that you find on the beach. And then she also has a bag full of trash that is also a great way yeah. if you are just <laughs> out and about. Um, keep a trash bag in your, in your bag and collect what you can find because all of that stuff that is taken off the beach stays away from the sea life, which is a wonderful thing. Yes. Well, thanks so much, Marilyn. Gotta run. Okay, see you later.